enroll your child for the manifested e-learning platform and see their grades grow tremendously. These videos can be downloaded to a laptop for offline viewing or viewed from a smartphone in a course-friendly format. Hi learners, how are you? Hope you are good. Welcome to Manifested e-learning forum. I'll be a teacher, Teacher Purity, still taking you through hygiene and nutrition for grade 2. We are discussing our third topic on rooms found in a house. And today we are going to discuss about the things that are found in various rooms of our houses. If you can remember very well, in our last lesson we still discussed things that are found in various rooms of our houses. But we discuss about things found in the sitting room, living room, and the kitchen. In this current lesson, we are going to discuss about now things that are found in the bedroom, dining room, toilet, and bathroom. That is what we are going to focus on during this lesson. By the end of this lesson, you are supposed to be able to name the things that are found in the bathroom, bedroom, the dining room, and the toilet. Welcome to the lesson and make sure that you pay attention. So hygiene and nutrition, we are still discussing the topic. Rooms found in in the house. And we are discussing the subtopic. Things found. in things found in various rooms of the house and specifically we are going to find out the things that the things that are found in the bedroom Bathroom, toilet, and finally the living room. So, in this lesson, we are going to discuss about the things that are found in the bedroom, bathroom, toilet, and the living room. In our last lesson, we discussed about things that are found in the kitchen, sitting room, and the living room. So, let's quickly remind ourselves of what we discussed. The things that are found in the, ki in the kitchen, the living room, and the dining room. So let's start with the things found in the kitchen. Things found in the kitchen. A kitchen is a place where we cook our food or where we prepare our meals. Now, what are some of these things that are found in the kitchen? Most things that are found in the kitchen are utensils. And uh, utensils are the things that we use to cook and uh, serve food. So what are some of these utensils that can be found in the kitchen? We have, a, we have plates. We use plates to serve food. We have sufurias. Sufurias. We have forks. We have cups, 
We also have plates, not plates, cups. We have jugs. That's a repetition. We have trays, pan. forks and knives these are some of the things that are found in the kitchen plates sufurias forks cups jugs trays pan and knives all these are utensils things that you can use to cook and serve food we also discuss about uh, things that are found in the living room things that are found in the living room. Things found in the living room. A living room is a place where we socialize. What are some of these things that are found in the living room? If you can remember very well, we mentioned some of these things found in the living room and we said a living room can have chairs, It can also have tables. It has uh, stools. We get a television in the living room. Have television and also bookshelves. And we can also have mugs in the living room. Why are we having mugs in the living room? Because you can be taking coffee or any other or tea while you are watching television or you are reading your storybooks. That's why we have bookshelves. Remember, a living room is a place where we can socialize. Either socializing by reading storybooks, telling stories, cracking jokes, or even just exchanging talks. So these are some of the things that are found in the living room. Then the last one we discuss about things that are found in the sitting room. Things found in the sitting room. A sitting room is a place where we rest after a long day of activities. So what are some of these things that are found in the sitting room? We have the first one, we have sofa sets. Have chairs. And we also have stools. These are some of the furnitures that are found in the sitting room sofa sets chairs and stools so this is what we discussed in our previous lesson the things that are found in the living room sitting room and the kitchen now for this lesson we are still going to discuss about the same but we are discussing different rooms today we are going to discuss about things found in the bedroom bathroom toilet and not the living room but the dining room we had already discussed living room in the last lesson so the dining the dining room so that's what you are going to focus on now let's start with the first room which is the bedroom remember that in our in the, we learned that a bedroom is a place where we sleep we take our naps or we sleep in a bedroom let's find let's find out some of the things that are found in the bedroom let's start by finding out the things that are found in a bedroom a bedroom is a place where we have our sleep or we take our naps what are some of these things that can be in the bedroom the first one we have bed 
a bed is found in the bedroom. That's a picture of a bed. We also have a mosquito net. A mosquito net. A mosquito net. That's a picture of a mosquito net. Don't just write a net. We have different types of nets. So you must write a mosquito net because the mosquito net will help us prevent the contraction of malaria. Mosquitoes are small insects that cause malaria. So a mosquito net is found in the bedroom. We also have bed sheets. Bed sheets. Bed sheets are also found in the bedroom. We also have pillows. Pillows. We put pill we pillows help us to support our head when we are sleeping. So we have pillows, bed sheets, a mosquito net, a bed. And of course, on the bed, we should have a mattress. Have mattress. A mattress is found in the bedroom. We have a wardrobe. A wardrobe. A wardrobe is a place where you hang your clothes. You can arrange your clothes in a wardrobe. We also have a shoe rack. A shoe rack. There's a picture of a shoe rack. We, we arrange our shoes on a shoe rack. These are things that are found in the bedroom. We have a bed, a mosquito net. Make sure that you write the word mosquito net. If you just write net alone, you'll not get the correct answer then we have bed sheets pillows mattress a wardrobe and a shoe rack we also have bed lamps a bedroom can have bed lamps and there are some people who have televisions in the bedroom so it depends with how your bedroom looks like so let's go to the next room we are going to discuss about the things found in a bathroom Things found in the bathroom. Now, a bathroom is a place where we take our shower or we bath. So, what are some of the things that are found in the bathroom that are going to enable us to be able to take? A shower. So the first one we have a bathtub. Bathtub. Take a look at what a bathtub looks like. We also have sisal fiber. Sisal fiber. Take a look at the sisal fiber. We are using the sisal fiber to scrub our body. We also have soap. When you take a shower, you require soap. Soap helps in to remove dirt from our body. So we can get soap in the bathroom. Of course, you you'll put your water on a basin. So a basin. And on the basin, the basin is going to have water. Then we also have brushes. The brushes that are found in the, ba in the bathroom are used to clean the bathroom. Wherever we Make sure that you take care of the rooms that are found in the house by cleaning them. Now, the brushes we use to clean the bathroom. We also have 
buckets can get buckets in the bathroom maybe to put water then the last one we have what you call a, a pumice stone Now, a pumice stone is a stone that we use to scrub our feet. A pumice stone is a stone used to scrub our feet. So, th these are some of the things that we can find in a bathroom. We have a bathtub, sisal fiber, soap, basin, water, brushes, buckets, and uh, a pumice stone. Then, the last part not the last but not least, we are going to find out some of the things that are found in the toilet. Things found in the toilet. Earlier I said that a toilet is a place where we go to help ourselves either short call or long call. What are some of the things that are found in the toilet? We have brushes. The brushes that are found in the toilet are used to wash the toilet. We also have brooms to scrub the floor of the Toilet. We have detergents. Now, deterg detergents are soaps that we use to clean the toilet. For example, we have the Hapik, Jig. All of them can be used to wash a toilet. We also have tissue paper or tissue rolls. Tissue rolls. Why are we having tissue rolls in the toilet? For our hygiene. After using, after going for a short call or long call, make sure that you wipe yourself using a piece of tissue paper. We also have water. We use water to flush the toilet. We flush modern toilets. Flushing means you are pouring a lot of water in the toilet. So, we have water in the toilet for us to flush the toilet. So brushes, brooms, detergents, tissue rolls, and water are some of the things that are found in the toilet. The last part, the dining room. Things found in the dining room. Now, a dining room is a place where we take our meals. What are some of these things that you can find in the dining room? Now, we have tables. We also have chairs. And because a dining room is a place where we are going to take our meals, of course, we shall have the things that we can use to serve the meal. So... We can also find plates in a dining room. Plates, cups, and uh, of course, these plates and cups, they'd be, they'll have a place where they can be stored. Now, plates and cups are always stored in a cupboard. So we can also find a cupboard in a dining room. Also have spoons. Forks. Spoons and forks are used to serve food. And we also have glasses of water. Now you can use the glasses to take water or juice. So these are some of the things that are found in the dining room. We have tables, chairs, Plates, cups, cupboard to store the cups and plates or even spoons. 
Then we have spoons, forks, and the glasses. So all these are found in the, the utensils that are found in the dining room are used to serve food. So these are examples of the things that we are found in the dining room. Let's quickly go through the work from where we started. Things found in various rooms of the house, but specifically we are dealing with the things found in a bedroom, a bathroom, a toilet, and the dining room. So the first, we discuss the things that are found in the bedroom. We have a bed, a mosquito net, bed sheets, pillows, mattress, wardrobe, and a shoe rack. Things that are found in the bathroom, we have a bathtub, sisal fiber to scrub your body, we have soap, basin, water, brushes to clean the bathroom, then we have buckets and a pumice stone. A pumice stone is a stone that we use to scrub our feet. Then we have things that are found in the toilet. We have brushes, brooms, detergents. Detergents are solutions that we use to wash the toilet. Then tissue rolls and water. Finally, things that are found in the dining room. We have tables, chairs, plates, cups, cupboard, spoons, forks, and glasses. So all these are the things that are found in our rooms at home. So we have different rooms in our home to maintain cleanliness and also to avoid accidents. That is why we have different rooms in our, in our house so that each room has its own furniture or things that are placed into it to avoid small accidents that can happen around the house. So I'll give you some work. You are going to do it in your exercise books. Make sure that you finish the work before you attend the next lesson. So the assignment, you are going to write down three things found in the first one, bathroom, you write for me the, in the blank spaces, bedroom, and a toilet. Fill in the blank spaces in each question. Make sure that you are writing the answer in the blank spaces. Finish the work before you attend the next lesson. See you in the next lesson. Have a great time. Thank you for choosing to study with us. For more information, you can call us on 0724 173845.